Hey guys, I'm going out salmon fishing tomorrow on the uh, Lower Columbia River and I'm getting ready to brine some herring and I thought I would show you guys how I do it and uh, maybe you might learn something or maybe you won't. If you uh, have a different way that you brine your herring, leave a comment. I'm always uh, willing to learn more. So the first thing that I like to do is try to pick out a good tray of herring. Um, herring that has been starved before they were uh, harvested. Um, I like my herring trays to be still vacuum packed and solid and doesn't have any frozen ice inside of the plastic. And I like my herring to have all the scales on it. I'll show you what I have here. So this one looks pretty good. It's all vacuum packed still. All the herring still has the scales on it. So what I'm going to do is break this seal, let these things thaw out for about an hour before I put them in the brine. Just like so. Now let these set warm uh, room temperature for about an hour. Let them kind of thaw out a little bit before I put them in the brine. Okay, and while the uh, herring are thawing out, I'm gonna put my water that I'm gonna use. Uh, usually just use bottled water, nothing out of the tap. I'm put my bottled water in the freezer for the next hour. Let that water get nice and cold. You want your herring to be as cold as possible even when uh, after you get done brining and then you put it in your cooler, pack it around with, uh, with ice. This is what we're going after. This is what we're going after tomorrow. More salmon. Stay tuned. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's check out these herring. They've been sitting out, thawing out. So I can make the brine, put them in the brine, and then put them in the refrigerator overnight, and then go and Salmon fishing tomorrow. Yeah, see how they pull apart now? You can separate them without <clears throat> damaging the scales. So here's how I make my brine. One cup rock salt. And for the water, you can use between three to three to four cups. I'm only doing one tray today, so I'll probably just do uh, three cups. If I was doing two trays of herring, I would do four cups of water. So there's two cups. Oop. three cups all right so <clears throat> now is the time you can get creative you can put whatever you want into your brine you can just leave it salt and, and uh, water or you can start adding some um, extra atoms to it some people use sand shrimp squid here's what I do these uh, Springer Chinook, they have a sweet tooth, so let's go with half cup of brown sugar. A little bit of bloody uh, tuna powder. A 
a little bit of creel. Uh, a couple squirts of this anise. Don't need a lot of this. Just a couple drops. <clears throat> if you wanted to dye your herring, now would be the time to add your uh, your dyes. Blue or char chartreuse. Now what I do is pour a little bit of the brine into a gallon Ziploc bag. Not too easy with one hand. Alright, so I got a little bit of brine in my Ziploc. Get my herring. <clears throat> you can put them in whole or you can cut plug them. Sometimes I do whole, sometimes I cut plug them, sometimes I do half and half. Today, I'm just going whole. Should probably be wearing gloves right now. Let's try to pick them up by the heads only. <clears throat> Grind this again. <laughs> Get all that salt and sugar off the bottom. Get all the air out and zip them up. Alright, there they are, laying flat. Getting happy for tomorrow. Now I'm going to put them inside the refrigerator overnight and start fishing uh, 6.30 in the morning. Get my rods all ready. I got two for trolling. I got one for sitting on the anchor. My rods, uh, lamb glass, canine quick, 10 foot six. This rod is the Shimano Claris. It's been a damn good rod, man. I got this one used and it's just been nothing but money. I always run these uh, Dakota reels. 500s Getting my coolers ready my bait cooler my tackle box Here's my boat if you see me on the water stop and say hi What are you doing, Chasey?
You saying hi? You want to go fishing tomorrow? Every couple hours, flip them around, give them, shake them up a little bit. And good luck out there, guys.